For our digital electronic project, we created a game named Light Hunting on a grid of 72 LEDs, 9 rows by 8 columns, in which the user must move a light representing a platform from left to right to strategically to catch falling lights. The controls are two momentary push buttons. If the user successfully keeps the platform under a falling object while it is in the bottom row, the score will increment, as shown on the two digit 7 segment display. Otherwise, the death count will increment as displayed on a third 7 segment display. There are 10 different stages in the game in which the objects fall at different rates, thus increasing the complexity and challenge of the game. The game ends when the user reaches 10 deaths. When this occurs, the game clock is disabled so the object freezes in place on the screen to indicate that the game is over. To implement the following objects on the LED display, each row of LEDs was paired to a single 3 to 8D max. We used an asynchronous counter connected to a fast clock to generate a pseudo random 3 bit address for the top row, and then pass that address down one row at a time using three sets of flip flops. At the bottom, we used a comparator to compare the address of the following object to the address of the platform light to determine whether the score or death count should be incremented. The platform row itself uses an up-down counter to increment or decrement the address selected depending on which the button is pushed. We used a flip-flop and a fast clock to introduce just enough delay to allow the counter time to change counting modes before changing the count itself when a button is pressed. That's all. Thanks for watching.